Hi everyone. Um, I am now 38 weeks and 4 days. I was hoping I would have gone by now. Um, first bump shot. Where do I start? Um, I have an appointment tomorrow f to check my blood pressure again, check the baby's position, that kind of thing. But I do think the baby is actually engaged now because I feel like whew, my belly is lower down, even though I still have really bad heartburn bordering on being sick. Um, I do feel like the child's head down and it engaged now. Still getting really high up kicks up here, you know, between my boobies or my, by my ribs. Um, I've had some tightenings as well where my womb's been doing that and at the top but um, that's over the last few days. Still extremely constipated, TMI ladies and gentlemen and kids. Um, but this is what it's about, pregnancy and all the things to do with pregnancy. Um, extremely constipated, really bad piles like a bunch of grapes out my butt. Literally <laughs> that bad. Um, so I bought some suppositories and some anusol <laughs> because it's terrible. Um, leaky boobs. Still, obviously, very thick discharge. Jelly bits coming out, but that's normal. Um, really bad back pain really low down on and off on and off <sighs> anything else probably anything you can think of if you're pregnant mm. 38 nearly 39 weeks that you've got I probably got to but it's a se like second nature it's the norm so you don't really think about it um, nosebleeds you would have a nosebleeds um, but they've not been as bad since I've stopped taking the warfarin, the blood thinner. As I say, if you watch back in my old videos, that'll explain why. So I'm not going to get into that again. <sighs> yeah, it's very hard to walk now as well. Because I feel like I'm waddling. Like I need to waddle, like a duck. Because it's that kind of uncomfortable feeling of feeling like you've been at a buffet, like I explained last time, and you've eaten everything that's there. I've been peeing all night every night for a couple of weeks as well, like repeatedly. Just when you think, oh, that's it, I'm comfy now. I've just got comfy. I'm in bed. I've got one of the pregnancy pillows. And you think, yes, I'm comfy. And then what happens? You either need a pee or the baby wakes up <laughs> in your tummy obviously, in your womb, so you can't sleep anyway, or you have heartburn, or combination, mm -hmm. purple diarrhea, a combination of all three. <laughs> so you don't get much sleep, but that kind of prepares you really for when the baby comes anyway, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, because you're getting no sleep then anyway, are you? We all know that. <laughs> so yeah, apart from all that lot, <laughs> I feel okay. I feel, you know, good. Um, you know, I've never, yes, I'm complaining about being pregnant, but, you know, it's a blessing. It's, I'm grateful, you know, because when I was younger, in my twenties, I could get pregnant like that. But since I've been in my 30s and now 40s, um, I miscarried three times in my 30s. Uh, no, I miscarried twice, sorry, um, before I had my son. And then I miscarried twice before I got pregnant with this child. Um, and once in 2010. 
and I only went in for a sexual checkup because somebody cheated on me and found out I was pregnant with twins but they died. So I had to have a DNC. Luckily I was under boop at the time. So I rung my provider and they got me in the same day, got the operation done. My friend looked after my kids when they came home from school and I got it done and dealt with. I didn't even know I was pregnant though to be fair. But that as long as I'd gone, which was, they said, look, I could about 14 weeks. Um, as a miscarriage, technically. Um, that was a boy and a girl. But that's not really he, neither here nor there. But, um, yeah, so I complain. I complain, I complain about different things. But I'm by no means ungrateful or not wanting to be pregnant. Um, obviously, I want it over now because baby's nearly cooked. But, yeah, I'm very grateful because my son's going to have a little play friend. So, I'm happy about that. So, he won't be spoiled because at the moment he's 15 months old and he's going through that stage where he can't do something because he can't figure out how to do it. So, he has a tantrum. So, it's starting. <laughs> the craziness is starting of him having a tantrum because he can't do or have put something where he wants to put it. <laughs> it's all fun. <laughs> if you have a, excuse me. If you have a look back on some of my videos you'll see I managed to record him having a tantrum because he couldn't put some of them, you know, the pull together cars where they pull together with the magnets. But as you know a magnet it's got to be a plus and a, a minus. But he's trying to push it together with the plus and the plus or the minus and the minus <laughs> and it's propelling away. And he's going mad because he can't push them together because he's got it the wrong way around. And he's having a tantrum and running off and they're coming back and joining again. It's so funny but I have to try not to laugh at him because then he'll have a tantrum. Because we're giving him attention if you know what I mean. <sighs> yeah, it's all fun. Um, yeah, I don't think I can tell you anything else. If there's anything I've missed, please let me know down below. Um, I will be doing a video shortly with a selfie stick, hopefully when the baby's awake, it's on my tummy, um, of it moving from the front angle um, so you can see a bit better. You've just got to be careful because it's difficult to do it for yourself because you don't want people to see your boobs or, you know, <coughs> your things. Because you can't see myself either. <laughs> You have to watch the video about doing and see if anything inappropriate is on it. But yeah, I'll try and do that video before the end of the pregnancy. Fingers crossed. But um, if I go into late before that, I unfortunately won't be able to. So yes, I'll give you another update at 39 weeks if I'm still pregnant. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now. Bye, bye.